<laughs> Recently, I have really been struggling with discipline. It's not good. It's just simply not good. Could be from a multitude of things. Like, my gas is about to run out. That shows you already. I think my greatest fear with losing structure and discipline is that I'm gonna revert back to the person I was a couple months ago. And that person was truly not happy. And I wasn't happy because I was all over the place. I didn't know what I was gonna do with my life and I didn't know where I was gonna go from there. And now I feel like I have a path and I have a plan and it all has to do with having structure. So I just finished my long run. It was 17 miles at a pretty decent pace. Problem is I haven't eaten at all today. It all starts with the fact that I didn't get up to run early in the morning. In order to get back on track, I really need to sit down and self-reflect on the things I've done wrong here recently. And um, one of the things I'd say is not enough sleep, not enough hydration. I'm very messy and disorganized here lately. And if I can get to the bottom of those things now, it's going to help me massively later. It's just simple. If these things spiral, I'm just going to revert back to the sad person I was, like I said. And I just don't want to be that person. This is the current state of my room. <laughs> Very messy. It's not good. Um, what I believe is like... Fuck. I'm messing up right now. <laughs> a clean room will lead to a clean mind. And here recently, I'd say within these last three weeks, as you've seen, my room got pretty messy. I was keeping up with my room and I felt like I was very organized. And whenever you have an organized room or an organized space per se, um, you are able to be organized in the mind. I guess my room in turn is kind of a metaphor for how or where I'm at right now in terms of like if this doesn't get fixed right now it's just only going to get worse and but there's always a way to fix it and I can obviously fix this room um, so I'm going to focus on cleaning it so that I can get a clear mind <sighs> the hardest part's always to start all right all right all right, all right. let's go the word that's been ringing through my mind these past few days, or matter of fact, this whole year, has been the word happiness. And at one point, it was how to get to happiness. And now it's simply how to maintain happiness. And I think I figured it out. And it's simply doing things that will make you feel good in the long run. And by long run, I mean we can simply do things that make us happy short term. For instance, scrolling through social media sites for hours on end or smoking and drinking to an unhealthy amount, which I don't partake in, but I know it's a problem. And the mistake I had made was spending most of my time in short-term happiness rather than long-term happiness. And long-term happiness has to do with running, stretching, and staying clean and organized. And focusing on these long-term habits has been what has led me to happiness throughout the latter end of this year. This is the current state of my room now, which honestly feels so good. Now I feel grounded in a way and I feel more relaxed and I don't feel as stressed. I can just feel it, I can sense it. So I just took a look at my sleeping schedule for the past week, which I should Put up somewhere in the screen um who knows where you can see it's not the best um five hours one uh, one day six hours in the other day then all of a sudden 12 and then nine it's just so inconsistent having to make up time one day and then the next day i just decide not to sleep as much it's just not a good habit um, my plan is to eventually train to the 100 mile weeks every week consistently and if i don't have structure that's going to be very hard as this week was already hard i barely hit 83 miles it's just going to be tough but it's going to be fun
just maintaining this type of mentality. I've done it before and I can I can get there again, so. I did it again. I ran late. I didn't want to wake up in the morning, but at least I had breakfast this time, so I guess it's baby steps. It's still not enough progress though. Doing things early and getting them done so that I don't have to be out here. The turning point this year for me, um, in terms of whenever I decided to change my habits and go on this journey of improvement day by day was during the summer. And this summer, it also had to do with the fact that I took off of social media for three months. And during this time, I actually went to Colorado and I met a lot of people there from all over the world. I truly realized that I could do much more with my life. I was just simply being lazy. I wish I would have had a bit more time in that environment to grow as a person, but I realized that I have to accept what I learned from those friends and keep moving on with my life. Some friends don't stay. Some friends don't stay. Hey, stay around here. I started at 5:40 a.m. Um, well, I run every day at 5:40. Probably not. The only reason I'm doing it right now is because if I don't do it now, I won't be able to go to weights. So today is the day that I started, I guess, getting in the routine of sleeping early, and, uh, waking up early again on the right track now. Hopefully I can maintain it. I'm not having a good day today. I'm really stressing about this grad school application. And I'm just not motivated to do anything. I didn't have a good run. I just want to stay in bed again. And it's starting to remind me of me from months ago. And I'm just kind of scared that I might be getting to that position again. But I know that I just have to stay structured in order to get rid of this little rut of a horrible day. So I managed to semi-figure things out with my grad application and my future and everything else. I had a good run yesterday. My back has been giving me issues and stuff, but I managed to get that fixed through stretching and doing the mobility work. Yeah, yesterday went solid, it went better than I expected. I went over my sleeping schedule now, and it's much better. I'm getting my sleep in, and yeah, I'm just trying to stay on this consistent routine that I have going on again, because I do feel better now, and I do feel like I'm improving both physically, mentally, and athletically. If physically and athletically aren't both the same thing, but I feel good. That's the whole thing about discipline is that if you are structured, you feel good. If you feel good, you'll be happy. And I think I'm in the right path, so. I always bring my friend, my friends, my friend, my friends up. When I was so young before I could remember I would always Mario drink Ruiz, my game I'm going to go to the gym I'm going to go to the gym I'm going to go to the gym